We're here at VITU in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Zhao Zanon from Anatel, and he's also the vice chairman of Study Group 11. Zhao, welcome, and thank you very much indeed for joining us here today. Good morning, Fred. Thank you for inviting me. It's an honor to speak on behalf of Anatel and Study Group 11 on this topic. So we're here at an ITU workshop that's looking at global approaches on how to combat uh, counterfeiting and stolen ICT devices. And much of this work is taking part in Study Group 11. Um, before we begin, could you please explain to our viewers uh, what kind of challenges you're facing in Brazil regarding uh, counterfeiting and uh, stolen ICT devices? And also, how is the work in Study Group 11 uh, helping you to meet these challenges? Of course, uh, the, the counterfeiting and stolen devices is a very big problem, at least on the American region and also on Brazil. Uh, with the growth of ICT, the importance of that and the value of these devices, it, it has been v become very common. And the actually, is the most common theft right now is just the theft of stolen devices. So it puts a lot of danger on the person. It's a lot of revenue that is being lost by the, the network. And, and the same thing goes with the counterfeiting problem it poses a lot of threat to every stakeholder on this on this ecosystem. Looking, for example, at the end user, uh, a counterfeiting device can help put, use some dangerous materials in terms of the health, it can be cancers. There are some, uh, like the battery or the charger can either charge and, and explode sometimes, so it can pose a lot of threat to the user. And, and also the quality of service of the, the calls are very low based on the studies that we have received on Study Group 11. So this is a very strong problem that we are also facing on Brazil. And it's not easy to, to fix that alone. You need to have some cooperation, especially on the stolen part, because it's very common also to have devices stolen on your country and sell them in your neighborhood. So it's important to have cooperation and share of ideas. And that's where Study Group 11 can be uh, a very good platform to exchange this information on, on that. Uh, Okay, and we've seen in the workshop that there's some big challenges with uh, the duplication and cloning of ICT identifiers. Um, what are some of the solutions available that can help to combat this problem? Yes, uh, as you see, the, 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 the counterfeiting and the, is in the stolen devices combat is very touched with the, the unique identifiers. As we have discussed and on WTSA, uh, the, the the, the last uh, conference that we have on for the ITUT sector, we have two new resolutions, resolution 96 and 97. And, and the 96 for counterfeiting and 97 for our stolen devices. And both of them touch the importance of unique identifiers on the solutions. Uh, most of the solutions that we see, Brazil included, rely on, on reliable unique identifiers to, to fix this problem. So if you have a bad identifier, if it can be tempered or cloned, you, you, you cannot track correctly the, the, the problem and you can have some troubles and even have some impact on the, the good user. For example, if you have a device, a genuine device that has been cloned, how can you different to differentiate it both? What is the good one and the bad one? So it's important to have some solutions on that. Uh, right now on, on Group 11, we have two frameworks going on to track the counterfeiting and, and, and stolen devices. But and both have identified the need to have some reliable unique identifiers on that. And now the next path would be exactly uh, how we can proceed on that. What are the solutions can assist the countries, the members of uh, ITU on that? We are studying still some possible actions. For example, fingerprinting of the technical aspect of the device would be one way. And the other other path, for example, that would be well, digital sign of the unique identifier, so the network itself can check the device. And the last part, le another alternative would be the tracking the life cycle of the device. And some technologies could assist on that. For example, blockchain mm -hmm. is a very new technology that they can assist you maybe on this path. So these are some ideas that we are exploring and we are uh, uh, expecting contributions to try to, to get some recommendations on that. Well, very interesting. And um, Xiao, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for your time and uh, wish you a successful workshop. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. And thank you guys for being with you today. Thank you. Thank you.